Hi, everybody. Liz Levine with Signature College Counseling. So today we're going to discuss how to accept a college acceptance. So let's talk about how you learn whether you've gotten accepted to a school or not, uh, how you get your admissions decisions. So it can vary by school, right? Every school has its right and, and its own process of how they're going to relay this information onto their applicants. Uh, most schools, after you've submitted your application, have had you set up an applicant uh, portal. Uh, and this applicant portal is used to be sure that all of your documents have arrived, your transcript, your letters of recommendation, uh, any other additional information that they may have asked for, like your test scores. Uh, and sometimes they ask for additional items. Uh, and so that's how you keep track of it. Very, very important that you set up your applicant portal. Very, very important that you check it. I ask my students after they submit their application, set up the portal to check it every day, uh, that they have a checklist uh, so that they know which schools have received which documents and what's outstanding. So many times a school will uh, text a student if you've allowed them to do so through your application and say, hey, check your applicant portal. We have news for you. You log into your applicant portal and woof, you're, uh, you've been accepted is there. So that's very exciting. Sometimes uh, they will do it uh, with an email and they'll send a video to you. I know there's some schools that have done this, which is kind of fun. They send a video, you click on the video and they have this whole hoopla video of letting you know that you've been accepted to their school. And there are some schools, Georgetown at least used to be one in the past, I don't know what they're going to do this year, where they tell you in the mail right, uh, through snail mail, you're going to receive something in the mail that tells you your admissions decision uh, and in the case that we're talking about your acceptance. So, so that's how you find out that you've been accepted. Then what happens is if you decide to attend that school, I guess if you decide to attend that school or even if you decide to not attend that school, you need to let that school know because if you decide not to attend that school, there's other students who are on potentially on the wait list which that's a whole other video to talk about what a wait list is, who are waiting for students to not accept their acceptance. So maybe they will be moved into the acceptance pool. So it's important that you let schools know when you, when you know that you're not going to be attending, that you're not gonna be accepting their acceptance. But in terms of uh, the question here, how do you accept a college's acceptance? And typically what will happen is in the communication, that you've received, they will let you know how to do so. Uh, sometimes they will mail you a form, snail mail you a form that you have to complete. Many times now you can accept it on your applicant portal. Likewise, on your applicant portal, you can also decline them as well, which I think is the easiest thing, but not every school is the same and not all schools have applicant portals. So it's important that you read the acceptance letter, whether it's online, whether it's in an email or whether it's in a video, and if it's in a video, check your applicant portal, I'm sure there's going to be information there, or you will have uh, a letter coming in the mail uh, to tell you what to do to accept the acceptance. Um, but I'd say practically all of the time, uh, as part of accepting an acceptance, you also have to put down a housing, what they call a housing deposit uh, of anywhere between two, three, four, five hundred dollars that's non-refundable if you eventually decide not to attend that school. Uh, so it's a conjunction of, yes, I'm accepting, and here's my deposit to, ship, to tell you and hold my spot that I'm accepting. So that's how that works. works. I'm hoping this has helped. Liz Levine with Signature College Counseling, making your college admissions journey easier to navigate.